our learning target in reading is I can be persistent so that I don't give up when I read. Now, persistent, that's a new word. That's something we haven't learned yet. But the reason I wrote that and the reason that's our learning target is we're learning another power today because we are super readers. So we already know that we have pointer power. We have picture power. We have sound power. We have popcorn word power. We have reread power. And today we're gonna learn about persistence power. Persistence, that means that you don't give up, that you're gonna do anything and everything you can to figure it out so that you can be a super reader. So you're gonna try, when you're using persistence power, that means you're gonna go back and you're gonna try all of your powers. You're gonna do what you need to do to figure out that word. You don't give up. It might be hard. It might be something you just wanna skip over and keep reading. It might be something that you wanna just make up a different word and not do it right. It might be hard, but persistence means that we don't give up. We just keep on trying. So today, that's what we're gonna work on when we're reading. So we need to make sure that we're using all of our superpowers because you guys truly are becoming such amazing super readers. And I wanna see you guys continue to use all of those powers while you're reading. And then today I want us to add on persistence power. So if we've used all our powers and we still can't figure it out, we've just gotta keep on trying and not give up, all right? So today we are going to read the book we are twins, okay? We're gonna go through and we're gonna find, we're gonna use all of our powers and I'm only gonna do a couple pages with you guys and then you're gonna do the rest of the book, okay? So our first power is pointer power. So we're gonna make sure that our finger is straight, that our finger is under the word, that we lift up our finger every time we read a new word, okay? We're gonna always use that one. And then we have picture power. We can use our picture to help us figure out what that word is saying. And sound power, we can make sure that whatever that picture is that we're saying, the sound that we're saying starts with the same sound that, of the word we're pointing to, okay? Popcorn words, we're gonna go through and find our popcorn words before we even start reading so that those are already there and we don't have to worry about it. Reread power, we're gonna reread to make sure, one, that we understand what we read. It is so, there's no point in reading if you don't understand what you read. So it's so, so important that you always understand what you just read. So that's one reason we reread. But we also reread so that we sound fluent, that we don't sound like a robot when we are reading. Okay, I want you to sound like you're having a conversation with someone, like you're actually talking to someone. Or better yet, like you're a teacher, like you're, you know it so well that you're teaching someone, okay? And then we're gonna work on persistence power. Okay, so we are twins. Well, first of all, we is a popcorn word, W-E, okay? We are twins. So we're gonna start with this page here. Now, we know the title is we are twins. So we're probably going to see the words we are and twins in this book a lot. But so here's we are twin. There's no S at the end. So it's not twins anymore. It's we are twin. Now these look like birds to me, right? We are twin. If this is the word bird, what letter does it need to start with? B, B, bird. Bird. The first sound I hear in b, b, bird is B says B. This letter is not a B. So I have to think of what else do I know? I'm using my picture power and I see a bird, but obviously when I'm using my sound power, this is not the word bird. So I need to think of what else I might know that could work there or what else could this picture be that might work there? Birds, they're like babies, they're like chickens maybe? Chick, baby, what are baby chickens called? They're called ch 
chicks. Chicks. Oh, I could try that. Now, ch, ch is the sound I hear at the beginning of chick. So, ch, ch is like chin. If you point to your chin, it starts with the letter ch, and you hear the ch sound. So, ch, I would have a c and then an h put together, ch. So, let's see if that would work. We are twin. Is there a C and an H put together there? Yeah, we are twin ch -ick chicks. So it's not chickens, it's just chicks. We are twin chicks. P -e -e -p -p -e -e -p pep, pep, pep. That doesn't make sense. We are twin chicks, pep, pep. Okay, I gotta think of everything I know. So I, I've been using my pointer power I already used my popcorn power because we found the word we, right? I'm using my picture power. I figured out that this was chicks and I used my sound power to help me figure that out. Now, pep, pep, that doesn't make sense. When I reread it, because I'm using my reread power, we are twin chicks, pep, pep. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna use my persistence power and I'm gonna keep thinking and figure out what these words are. Now, what does... What do chicks say? I think they say chirp, chirp, right? So we are twin chicks. Ch, chirp, starts with the same CH sound, ch, ch. This does not start with ch, so it can't be chirp, chirp. We are twin chicks. What do chicks say besides chirp, chirp? They might say tweet, tweet. I hear a t, t. T says t at the beginning of tweet. We are twin chicks. T oh, nope, that's a p, p. So what might a chick say that starts with p, p? It's not pep, pep, it's p, p, p. Well, I do know that my vowels, they can say their sound or their name. So let me try that. P, e, p, peep, peep. I'm gonna reread it and see if that works. We are twin chicks, peep, peep. There, oh my goodness. So I used my persistence power and I was able to read this page. We are twin chicks, peep, peep. Awesome. So your guys' job, we'll do one more page. We're gonna go through, so here's our popcorn word, we. So we already have that one. We're gonna use our pointer power. We're gonna have a straight finger. We're gonna point under words and lift it up in between each word. We're gonna use our picture power right now, okay? picture power. What do we see a picture of? These are robots. What do we hear at the beginning of robots? Oh, R says, oh. okay, so here's we are twin. Does this word start with R for robots? Yeah, we are twin robots. Okay, I have no idea what a robot says. I, to me, they just talk all like choppy and move weird, but I don't know what they say. So let's figure this out. B, e, 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 bep, bep. They definitely don't say bep, bep. Well, I just read right here that the E said its name instead of its sound. So let's try this. B, e, p, b, e, p, beep, beep. That would make more sense. So if we use our reread power, and our persistence power, if we don't give up and keep trying until we figure it out, we're going to be able to read this book. We are twin robots. Beep, beep. I'm going to reread both of these pages. And then you guys are going to go through in Seesaw and use the arrow and finish reading the rest of it using all of your powers. We are twin chicks. Peep, peep. We are twin robots. Beep, beep. Okay, so your job today is to finish this book. I want you to use the arrow to point to the words as you're reading. And then I need you to make sure that you are being super readers, that you are using your pointer power. Each word gets one point and you don't, you're not going to actually be using your finger. So you can use the arrow and point under each word. Okay. Not on top of it, under it. Then I want you to use your picture power. Look at that picture, try and figure out what it is. And then make sure that whatever you say it is, like if I say this is dog, when I'm reading the, and I think it's dog, 
I need to make sure that the word I'm reading starts with the D because that's what dog starts with. Dog. So you put your picture and your sound power together. Then I want you to use your popcorn word power. Go through and find those popcorn words just so they're automatic and you can just read them. And then make sure you reread so that you're smooth, that you're reading fluently, that you sound like a teacher. And then persistence power. Don't give up. Just keep trying. Don't ask your parents for answers. Keep trying. I promise you, you can do this, okay? So you're going to go through today and finish that and submit that in Seesaw. Have fun, you guys. You're doing such an amazing job being super. Super readers!